Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. Today's presentation is a bit of a fun one. What do cats think about? Well, hmm. Cats like to stare at things and many times they exhibit that lost in space look. Does this mean they're deep in thought? Well, we're going to find out today. And before we do just that, let's check out today's topic overview. Cats think about relevant things to their lives, such as food, capturing prey, conflicts over territory, why their bed has been moved, why their litter box is dirty, petting and grooming, and their owners. However, cats likely don't think in a language or meows. They may think in imagery, although scientists haven't proven that this is the case. Because the feline brain isn't as developed as the human brain, cats can't think in as much depth. While many things within this topic are indeed a mystery, it's safe to say that cats are never deep in complex thought. They're not plotting and planning for what they're going to do next month. They're not taking a trip down memory lane, recalling what they did during the summer of 2017. Cats are extremely smart, but they likely lack the intelligence to process anything other than what impacts them daily, basic needs and basic associations. That's likely as far as it goes. And hey, that's cool. Felines have what they need, and that's more than enough for how they live and what they do. And speaking of thoughts and deciding what to do, we thank you for deciding to join us today. Your viewership and support is always much appreciated. Whether this is your first time joining us or if you've been here for years, we thank you so very much. We hope that you find this video helpful and informative, and we look forward to seeing you again down the road. Now let's talk about cats and just what they think about all day long. All the things. <laughs> all the things. In this context, things are probably nothing too specific, unfortunately. Felines have a limited scope for thought and understanding, and it's highly unlikely that cats are able to think logically. They're also unable to process emotions in a language or in words, so it's really all about instincts and feelings. In terms of the depth of a cat's thinking, that aspect is a bit of a mystery. What a cat thinks about is likely relevant to an individual cat's own life, and not too much, if anything, out of bounds beyond that. A house cat, for example, has a limited daily experience compared to, say, a feral cat, so a house cat's daily thoughts are probably restricted to a substantial degree. In terms of body language, the ears, eyes, and tail can tip you off that your cat is thinking about something. A perk of the ears and twitching of the tail could be a sign of curiosity. So at least in that moment, your cat is in a solving the puzzle state of mind. Here again, your cat will never ponder the meaning of life, but your furry pal will have basic thoughts that are relevant to your pet's environment. Your cat will never think too much beyond the present, and any thoughts of the past are often based on trust and association. Cats do remember things, which is quite obvious. So any expectations are based on events of the past and learned behaviors, at least to some degree. While cats can't recall the past in detail the way humans can, felines do embrace thought behaviors and react to the expectations that are in fact based on prior events. For example, your cat will not remember in detail the time it almost got hit by a car, but it will remember the general state of fear that occurred. That's enough of a quote-unquote memory to cause your cat to potentially stay out of the road. Cats don't really make memories as much as they make associations and positive or negative connections based on events and actions of the past. And before we get too far ahead of ourselves on the thinking and memory front, let's mention that elephant in the room, shall we? Happy cats and happy house cats, more specifically, are... They love to sleep. They live to sleep. <laughs> Sleep rules the day. This is true. If you've owned a cat, you, you know what's up. They they love to sleep. So dreaming actually should probably be the 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 topic for today. At any rate, uh, they sleep a ton. So any type of active thinking is almost cut in half in terms of a 24-hour period because a cat, you know, they'll sleep for almost half of the day. The food is likely a driving force behind what a cat thinks. As we've mentioned over the years in various forms of material, it's all about that self-preservation. Cats likely spend a bulk of their day thinking about food in some capacity. This is especially true for a cat that lives off the land. The hunt and the pursuit of food and the desire for shelter likely rules the day and night in terms of thoughts. 
It is more than safe to assume that your cat probably thinks about you quite often. How flattering. Your cat wants to know what you're doing, where you've been, who or what you've come in contact with. Here again, all the things. <laughs> all the things. While it's commonly stated that cats view humans as nothing more than oversized and dumb cats, no one can truly say for certain. Although it's fair to conclude that cats likely view us as clumsy, they know that we can do what they can do. They likely realize that we're much slower and far less agile. There is no doubt, at least in my mind, that cats would probably spend the bulk of their day laughing at us. If they could, <laughs> they'd just sit around thinking about how stupid we are. But yes, cats, especially in a loving home, think about their owners quite a bit. If they have a true bond, they likely think about their family in a very caring fashion. Although the true details of how deep any type of admiration could truly be in a way of thought is very much unknown. While we have touched on the depth of a cat's ability to think, there are really two core obstacles that prevent cats from truly, truly thinking in grand detail the way people do. That first obstacle is the lack of a well-developed language. While cats do communicate, make no mistake, they do, we obviously know that much, but their language, it, it makes complex thought almost impossible. Without the ability to offer up and also understand complex language, it becomes impossible to have complex thought. The next obstacle and the most important is the simple fact that cats' brains are not as physically developed as our brains, most notably the cerebral cortex, which is responsible for intelligence and the capacity to learn and also think. There's only so much that a cat can ever do in terms of memory and thought because they simply lack the tools. But, as we noted earlier, this is just fine. Cats are born with what they need to thrive and survive, thus making them perfect for who they are and what they are. People, well, us folks, we're always told to live in the moment, right? Well, based on what we do know, it's safe to say that cats have that part covered. They've got the market corner when it comes to living in the moment. They essentially have no choice but to live in the moment. And there's something pretty cool about that, I must say. Cats don't live with regret. They don't spend days thinking about what could have been or should have been marriage or divorce. They live in the now. And thoughts about their owners, food, water, the litter box, prime shelter, and positive attention are the core things that cats think about all day long. And on that note, that will conclude things for the video side of life. However, if you'd like to know more about this very interesting topic, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com at the conclusion of today's presentation. There you will find a full-length, high-quality, and highly detailed article concerning everything we've discussed today and so much more. What do cats think about all day? Well, we've laid it all out, all the ins and outs, in written form, and we hope you'll take a look at what we've prepared for you at the conclusion of this video. Are you currently watching us offside? If so, we do encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to the article in question. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.